Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching C Prenant's video series on C or C++ program because this video is actually applicable for both. And sorry for exaggerating this uh, video thumbnail for a little more because I wanted you guys to actually click this video and see if you know this because I didn't know this when I was giving interviews in my early days and one of the interviewer told me that this is not correct. What I was telling him was not correct and I was surprised and that was the only answer I could not give and still I was selected in that interview and I cleared everything and I was offered the position. So I was surprised to know this man and I'm like maybe most of the people would not know all these things. So let's see what I'm trying to tell you here. This video is sponsored by Dev C++, a fast, portable, simple and free C and C++ IDE and code editor for Windows. Dev C++ uses MingW GCC as its compiler and it can also be used in combination with Sigwin or any other GCC based compiler. Dev C++ have low memory footprint because it is native Windows application and does not use Electron. And it is immensely popular due to its light footprint, yet giving you all the features you need, not to mention that it's free. So download the latest release for free by clicking the link in the description field. So memory leak, when you create a pointer like integer pointer p is equal to maybe integer maybe value 10 and later point of time in your program when you're going to complete this program you're supposed to delete this right like delete p and we know that this is really very important if you miss this you will have a memory leak so this much is clear right now the point was how bad this memory leak could be and uh, this can be a very big array or something so don't think that i'm telling you if it is just single pointer which is having maybe eight byte or four byte it should be okay if you can leak this no i'm not talking about that i'm talking about what he asked me he asked what are the consequences of having memory leak in your program and i was like oh my god this is so dangerous if you have memory leak in your program then you are done you you just have to find it solve it otherwise your program is not going to work and then he said listen carefully then he said what if i just close my program i mean if some application is running and it is having memory leak and if i close that program what happens after that this is really very important and at that time i didn't know that if your program goes down meaning it is closed then whatever it took memory from your operating system will again go back to os so os keep the track like how much memory it has given to some program and if that program goes down it will automatically take all that memory back to itself and back then i was so surprised to listen this from him and he had a pretty good smile on his face i was like oh my god i didn't know this really <laughs> so memory leak is way more dangerous if you are writing some program which is going to run maybe forever maybe like one year two years and then sometime you will close it and then you will restart like servers then it is really very important for you. I mean, it is always important. Like uh, even if your application is go going to live for a very short time, you should care about memory leak. But I wanted to make this, I mean, clear to everyone. So what I mean is if let's suppose you have some program and that is like maybe in some while loop and somewhere here you have a memory leak and this while loop is maybe in some thread and it is running always in one second or maybe two seconds or one minute and let's suppose you are running this application for like two years and then you will have some maintenance to shut it down and then restart so by the time you restart you know what this whole memory leak will always be there with you meaning os will always think that okay you are still using this memory there are garbage collectors and all that stuff but this is the basic thing. I mean, if you don't have any garbage collector or something in your system, then you will be in deep trouble. Cool, right? So I didn't know really that if your application goes down, OS will get all the memory back what it allocated for some particular program. Nowadays, OS are very smart, right? So disclaimer, don't comment that I am supporting memory leak or somehow. No, I'm not doing that. I'm just explaining the relationship between OS and memory leak with your program and when it is more dangerous and if you didn't know this hit that like button and if you knew already then also you hit that like button it will help me to grow this I mean it will give good rating to this video and maybe so many people will get to know because then YouTube will give suggestion 
of this video to mostly so many people. So give thumbs up and spare the awareness. Thanks for watching guys. Love you. Take care. Bye bye. I'll see you in the next videos.